and a happy Monday to you. It is Monday the 16th of September. I have just filmed a quick like planner, plan with me kind of video, more like planner decorate with me. Um, like just a mini one that I put on Instagram, I'll probably put it at the beginning of this vlog as well, just sneak that in there, especially for people who don't have Instagram. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to upload to the computer now and then I'll edit it. It doesn't take very long, just sort of 10 minutes to just sort of shorten it. It needs to be under a minute. So yes. Um, then what am I going to do after that? Uh, there's a journal I was making last night, like a big one for my shop, which I want to finish. And then also start, start another one. There's two that are sort of going to be a botanical florally themed ones. I thought of something for an extra design for my Halloween collection. So I'm going to try and do that today. Yesterday I uploaded two long videos. One is, I think they're both about 25 minutes long. One's going up tomorrow on Tuesday, one is going up on Wednesday. The Wednesday one will be the first ever vlog, which I'm kind of nervous about and it's kind of weird filming the second vlog before the first one's gone up and I don't know the reaction to it, so maybe nobody will ever see this footage. Anyways, yeah, that is what I am doing so far today. Day. I'll hopefully squeeze in some other stuff as well. I do really want to go to the range. Um, I want some more little trays. You see that sort of mint green tray there? They are from the range. Well, actually, that specific one was from, probably from Bunnings, but Bunnings does Bunnings blah, blah, blah. Bunnings doesn't exist in the UK anymore. But you can get them now from the range. Anyway, point being, I want a load of thinner ones um, for washi storage because my one, two three, four, five washi drawers are full and I need to make room for another one. So I need the storage trays for that. Um, and I also need a new palette knife because I broke one a few weeks ago and I haven't replaced it yet. So I need to do that. But I don't know if I will get a chance to go to the range. So that might happen tomorrow instead. We will see. I'm gonna do this little mini plan with me thing and then probably insert some footage here of me sort of finishing the junk journal and maybe making the next one as well. So catch you in a bit.
today is Thursday the 19th of September. I haven't really filmed for the past couple of days. Yesterday, Wednesday, I ended up uh, in bed due to fibro. It happens, just means I'm a little behind on things now. And Tuesday, I, I did some stuff on Tuesday. I did some filming and just like, just various bits and bobs, admin things on the computer, uh, work stuff. And, um, oh, and I went to the range. I did film some footage of that, just, you know, proof that I do occasionally leave the house. Um, and I've also had some packages arrive the past couple of days, getting a little spendy online. So I thought I would just sort of insert a little mini haul into the, into the vlog. So from the range, I bought some storage boxes. Uh, I've got one A4 size plastic one here and then these trays which I just love they are actually different sizes so these are the long thin ones in mint three of those and then two of these like slightly wider ones in white um because I need to devote another drawer to washi tape and this is how I separate them in the drawers so they're not all rolling around all over the place so that's what those are for um what else did I buy I also bought this is my Ursula bag that my uh, bestie got me because she, Ursula is my favorite Disney character of all time I bought some plastic palette knives because my favorite one which is the hell yeah well you can see that triangle one there snapped the other week and I haven't been coping without it I thought I'd buy like a proper metal one to replace it because I've already got all the others that are in this pack but I didn't really like the ones they had in the range. I just wasn't wasn't feeling it. And this is like two pounds for the entire pack. So I thought I might as well just buy another one of those. I bought some stamps just because I thought they were super cute and they're nautical. So I just I really wanted them, and they were like one pound fifty, one ninety nine, something like that. Uh, oh, I bought these little wage envelopes. Um, not very exciting, I just thought they would be helpful for like my junk journal kits and stuff and for like just putting in things for orders and things like that, just you know, just a little random thing. I like to like mix it up what different kind of envelopes I put in the kits and stuff and then very exciting, I bought some cat treats because that's my life. I buy craft stuff and I buy cat stuff and these make my cat lose his mind. I don't know what it is about them. They came free in some of his normal food, like a free sampler, and he just absolutely goes crazy for them. So I saw them, and they're only a pound. So I bought those to make him very happy. And then I saw these for me. Oh, yeah, I haven't had these since I was a kid, and I just, oh. I have seen them out and about, but they've been like weird pink ones or dark chocolate ones. Um, finally found the milk chocolate ones, which I just, when I was 10, these were everything. So yeah, very excited about these. So that's everything that I got from the range, but I have been doing, oh, poke myself in the eye, have been doing some pen related purchases. Um, so I'll just show you, I just got, got one new pen and a load of ink. So the new pen I got, this is from three different places. This is from Cult Pens, Pure Pens, and The Writing Desk. All three are great reliable websites with um, like cheap or free depending on how much you spend PMP and they send super quick and I just I'll link all three I won't link every separate separate item but I'll link the websites just because if you're into pens and inks or stationery in general then those three websites are fabulous anyways the pen I bought is a Kaveco Sport which, um, considering I've been using fountain pens for a long time, um, I thought it was about time I picked up one of these because like the planner world is obsessed with them. So obviously I got the navy one because it has a gold plated nib, obviously not a real gold nib, nib but I just I love navy and gold together. So just picked up one of those to try them. You, generally I love my Lamy pens but just wanted one to add to my collection and it comes with the cutest little cartridge converter that you ever did see. It's so tiny. Let me, I'm going to go get another one to compare sizes. So if you're not familiar with fountain pens, cartridge converters are what you use when you want to use bottled ink instead of cartridges. And so this is a Lamy converter. This pen I think is clean here. I have nothing in there at the moment. So that's how big 
the Lamy one is and you just ink goes in. I won't explain it because most of you won't care. But look comparatively at the size difference. How cute is the Kaveco one? It is adorable. I just, I actually squeed when I opened it. I was like, that is the cutest little darn thing that I ever did see. So yes, I got that guy and the converter, which you have to buy separately. And then everything else I bought is ink on my pens. So I've got three diamine inks. I got Cherry Sunburst, Diamine Marine, and Diamine Little Mo or Diamine Maureen, which is a Colt Pens exclusive and it's a sheening ink. I got Robert Oster, what's it called? Fire and Ice. Um, I got a sample of Urban, I'm not going to say this wrong, it's like Kyanite de Nepal, say it with a French accent, which is a very beautiful shimmery blue, and also when you order from Pure Pens, sometimes you get a little surprise gift, and this was a sample of their own ink, which is Lanberis Slate, which I will try out. So all of those were from Pure Pens apart from the, the Maureen because that is, as I said, that's a Cold Pens exclusive. And then I also got from the writing desk two J. Urban or Urban inks. One is the um, the cheaper ones. This is Vert Rosada, which I will get out. Sort of a very, very minty green. That's that one there. And then the this one is part of the 1670 line, which are not cheap inks i bought a sample i can't open this there we go right i bought a sample of this because as i said they're not cheap inks and it's better to buy a sample to see if you like it or not fell in love with it don't really go for red inks but this is stunning it's called rouge hematite and i don't know how well this is gonna show like not at all but it is so shimmery like it's got gold shimmer inside it's just not showing on camera as at all but the lighting is not very good in here today but it is so oh, you see a little bit of shimmer at the bottom there anyway it is stunning the bottle is beautiful so yeah that's what i got i'm gonna um i'm show you the last bits that arrived and then i'm gonna um go and do some swatches of these so you can see all the colors and then i bought a load of fancy washi from a friend who was de-stashing on Facebook. She lives in the same town as me, so we didn't have to worry about postage. So she dropped them off to me yesterday and oh, so pretty. So I'm trying to remember how the sets go together, but I'm not doing very well. I think I've got it right. The first set is Planners Anonymous washi. So there's this really pretty wide one that's gonna focus at all. It's got like planners and pens and like a little laptop scene and just like a little phone case and just like stationary desk scenes. Beautiful black and gold foiled floral. And this one, which has like faux mild liners on. I don't know how well you can see that. And they all say things like, hey, beautiful and love yourself. And I can't read the other ones, but that the, uh, the words are in foil. Foiling, why can't I speak today? Then this set, which is also planners and norm, there's this really pretty dragonfly, like water lilies one with silver foiling. And then this, let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit more, just a really pretty one with the silver foiling. And finally, this set, also planners and non two. These two are very similar, just really beautiful florals with gold foiling on. And then this sort of pale bluish lavendery lilac color with gold bows yeah and then everything else is simply gilded so i got this set two gray ones obviously with gold foil bows i think this was the set though i could be wrong um it has one two three four skinny ones the five millimeter we've got like a blush color a pink a blue and a black and white dot all with the bows obviously because it's simply gilded and then this one which i am in love with with the black and white dots and foiled florals and lastly a classic simply gilded this one is still in the packaging which is why it's so shiny and um, the pink and white stripes with the bows so i am very happy about all that sort of adding to my simply gilded and other branded washi collections so 
Yes, that's all the stuff that has arrived in the past few days. That probably added quite a lot of minutes to this uh, this vlog, but yes, so as I said, I'm gonna go swatch these inks. I might include that just so you can see what the colors are, speed it up, obviously. And yes, what else do I need to do today? I need to voice over a video, get it all done and scheduled and uploaded and whatnot, do the, take the pictures, edit them on Photoshop, do, do all of that stuff. And then I really, really, really want to get my Halloween designs up and available in the shop by the weekend or for the weekend, maybe Sunday. I still need to draw some designs. I finally had some ideas. So I think the rest of the day is going to get devoted to that, really. So yeah, being in bed yesterday with fibro was inconvenient to say the least, but it happens. It's just, it's just life, just reality. So yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to shut up. See you later.
Today is Saturday the 21st. Today I think is going to be a computer based day so pretty much all day I imagine or most of the day I'm going to be sat here at my Mac doing stuff. So the past two days I worked my socks off and got my new collection done so everything like done on Photoshop and silhouette cut files all done and printed and test cut and everything is all good so I will just show you so this is the gothic halloween collection there are four separate sticker sheets this is the first one we've got like the skull and a couple of graveyard scenes the moth roses and bats it's very oh in the raven as well it's kind of basically got all the designs on just like you know one or two of each second sheet skull and roses on there very much my thing uh, third sheet is the graveyard scenes, bats, moths, the death head or death's head, hawk moth, that, um, and ravens. And then the last one has lots of little ones, skulls, moths, and bats. So lots of little ones on that one. And then, of course, to match, there is an ephemera pack. I think you can see that skull there, that's probably the biggest. There is a, um, I couldn't do the more detailed graveyard scene as an ephemera piece just because it either it would either be tiny or it would just be too big so you know I did the little one there so that is the gothic halloween collection and then I kind of took I'm just gonna have to rearrange these because it's gonna annoy me if they're not in the right order right yeah I took from the gothic halloween collection the skulls and roses just to kind of make a mini little collection on, on its own that's just skulls and roses I mean who knows if anyone's gonna be interested but this is very much my thing so I thought just the option to just have these so there's the skulls obviously the roses and then like skulls with the roses around them those are exactly the same I just happen to have two of them and then ephemera pack as well what I did with the roses I don't know how well you can see if it's focusing not really focusing is it let me get I don't know if you can see a little better on that one lighting isn't really good at all today but um with the roses I wasn't 100% happy with the way I'd colored them so I actually finished off the coloring and shading and stuff in photoshop so they're very much a mix of digital and hand for want of a better word drawing which usually I just do you know the hand drawing so you can really see pencil marks or brush marks and stuff and then I just enhance colors and stuff on Photoshop but with this one I really really colored the rose in Photoshop just because I as I said I wasn't happy with the way it was looking um, and I don't know what do you prefer tell me what you prefer what do people like like really digital looking art like this or do you prefer it where like with this guy you can really kind of see the pencil marks and or in other things of mine where you can see brush strokes and stuff I don't really know what people prefer if um I know for me I personally like where you can see like brush marks and pencil marks and stuff but who knows let me know what you think um and then as well as listing more well, photoing and listing those I've got one two three four slim junk journals just because I was almost sold out I only had one left before these I've made two b6 and two a6 I might see if I can make some other sizes before all the new listings go live it just depends on time if you're not familiar with these these are basically junk journals obviously which are slim so you can put them in a traveler's notebook you don't have to be like in them as long they're slightly more portable um let me just show you one so this is one of the b six i usually add a little something to the front cover so there's some stamped paper some vellum like a little sticker and something you can write like your name or whatever on um and then yeah it's just like junk journal pages inside there's usually a few pockets with some bits and pieces in just to sort of get you started on my pockets i tend to um machine stitch them because i just I prefer the look of them they're usually sort of 20 to 25 pages making it 40 or more sides to write on so it's kind of perfect for a month of journaling if you like doing that and then usually at the front and back is a little pocket that has like a little pack of stickers and ephemera in as well as a little envelope in there with some bits and bobs in so yes b6 and a6 i will at least have those 
when the new listings go up, which should go up before you see this video, I might add. And I've also got the two larger junk journals that I made at the beginning of the week, like big chunky ones that took quite a long time. So obviously they, these are a slightly higher price than the slim ones. I'm gonna do like an, a, a video with all my new listings, so um, which should be up for this video. So if you wanna see like the inside of these and stuff, I will link that video because I'm sure I will show them. Then these two are like botanically sort of flowery ones. One is the book of garden flowers and one is garden flowers in color. So yes, photoing, editing, writing, listings, descriptions. That's pretty much my day to day. And then maybe making some journals at the end of the day. We will see. So yeah, catch you later. So it is Sunday morning and I am here to just sort of end the vlog really because I managed to edit most of it last night and it's going to be like 40 minutes long so sorry about that. Um, I think as the weeks progress because like after a certain amount of time I'm just doing the same thing over and over again so they'll probably just get shorter and shorter and shorter. We'll see. Um, so everything's ready for the new releases, video filmed, they're all ready to publish and everything so today I've just got a couple of orders to pack and then I'm just going to take the day, it's Sunday and I haven't even watched Bake Off yet, for goodness sake, so I need to do that, that's very important. Could do with washing my hair. Um, I do have some books I wanted to show you to hack to pieces for junk journals and junk journal kits. This one's like an old recipe book, like from around the British Isles, I don't know what year it is. 1950 and it's got some really beautiful pages in, like this, and it's also got like some really hilarious recipe titles like this one <coughs> anyways so that's gonna be hacked apart for junk journals and junk journal kits and then this one which is really special this is um oh, I've got some bits in the front I've been keeping aside this is from 1937 and it is someone's um language learning book so she was elizabeth warboys was taking a german language course and this is like all of her notes and stuff so yeah september 27th so almost um to the time 1937 first lesson it's all written like german on one side english on the other it is lovely it's not completely filled it's only about that much filled was even the blotting paper that she used as well so very very carefully gonna unbind this and then the rest of it is just lovely vintage lined paper to go in kits and stuff so i will sit down for an hour or so and take those apart as well so yeah that's it um if you're interested in any of the new things that i show like all the journals and the, the stickers and stuff i'll link the etsy store and all the different things Thanks so much, as always, for watching. If you have any questions, do let me know. I love talking to you guys down in the comments. It makes me feel that there's people out there. And um, yeah, okay, that's enough from me. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next week.